Welcome to part 4 in the interior modeling and rendering series. Today we are going to model these three vases and this wall detailing. If you want a copy of the large vase, you can download it for free with the link in the description. Videos are posted every week, so don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, let's get into the video. Let's go to sub D. I'm gonna make a cylinder. I'm gonna put it in this corner. The radius is going to be hmm. Let's make it let's be funky. Let's make it 75. I don't know why that's funky, but we live and we learn. Okay. Make it 400 tall. Okay, cute. Let's make it higher. She can float in the air for a while. Select the point. To control shift, you can select the point. And then we're going to delete these top faces. So control shift so just to select the faces, then hit delete. Lovely. Lovely, and now if you control shift and double click, you can select this entire edge. And we're just going to hold shift and scale it in like this. Cute, that's not so bad. Maybe just like. Yeah, we'll just control shift, double click. And we're gonna pull. Ooh. Ooh. No, I'm actually gonna pull it down a little bit. Oh, we can make something really interesting. I'm just gonna. I don't want it too interesting because this is not the focus of our rendering, you know? Okay, maybe I can go here. We can just. Oh! I like that. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay. We can let's make this a little wider. Okay, that's cute. I love it. But it doesn't have any thickness, so click on the object and go to offset sub D. Flip the direction and we'll make this five mil thick. Cool. So now you can see that we have a thickness, but hmm, I don't want this to be so sharp. So we're going to remove sub decrease and do the same thing on the inside. Double click, remove sub decrease. But now. It's a little too much no crease. Um. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. And not my monkeys and not my circus. I guess. But it kind of is my monkeys and my circus, but. You know what? Um. Okay. So now I want this held up by sort of middle thing, like, oh, I wonder if this will work. A lot of digital modeling is just trial and error and seeing if what you'll learn or what you've learned in the past works in new projects, doing different things. So welcome to my stream of consciousness. Oh, it worked? Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, it did work. Okay. No. Hmm. Hmm. I want to multiply. I think I need to. Oh, set pipe radius to. 
let's say, let's say three. Um, sometimes I'm surprised when things work. Yo, okay, so now I've created a circle around here. And I want it to just barely touch the surface. So I'm holding shift and scaling in all directions. Okay, I love that. Love, love, love. And we're gonna go to our perspective. I mean, our right viewport. Going to hold control. That's maybe not. Hold control after selecting, after moving the object. Oh, that didn't work either. Why am I glitching right now? This shouldn't be that hard to do. I've just got like. You know what? Select this and type copy vertex straight down. Click enter. Perfect. Make sure it's on the ground. Close enough. Cool. Oh, but where is it though? Oh. Um. No, it's not what I wanted. We can just move it out over here. There we go. Now it's directly underneath. And we will create a cylinder, not a box, a cylinder, and go to this vertex, go like, no, nah, that's not thick enough, lovely, let's, visibility, Isolate. It just makes selecting this face easier because it's touching another object. And so now we'll go down. And perfect, now it's intersecting. Okay. I'm going to... So that was control shift double click. And then again, dupe edge. And now select this and go array curve. Select path. It's going to be the edge that we just created. Array by number of items or by distance. Let's go five items right now and just see what happens. So this is a preview of what it will look like. What about six? Make it symmetrical. I like that. Press enter. Okay. I don't know if this will be strong enough to hold that up in real life, but we're just gonna pretend that it can. Cool. Okay, cute. Love it. We're also going to... Oh, that's what it was. It was ALT to copy. <laughs> it was so silly. Okay. Why did I forget that before? I was holding control and shift and... 
nothing's cocking, but it's out. Okay, now we're gonna go move, select the bottom vertex. I just find it easier to move this way. And then we'll connect to the edge of this. Oh, center is fine. And then we are just going to scale it down. So let's go scale 1D, like one direction. That was so cringe. <laughs> oh, oh, is this cute? I can't tell. Oh, no, it's not cute. That was very skewed. We're just gonna go like this. Hold shift. Now it's cute. I'm just gonna hope that that's in the table. Hold Alt to copy. Oh. Alt to copy. Yep, there we go. And then. <laughs> I just love it. Such cute little vases. Oh, what's it doing? So I'm gonna make this one slightly in front of the other. Yeah, it's for comp not competition, composition. Okay, I love that. This, however, is too far away. Okay, so far I'm loving this. I think we need a light over here, but more importantly, we need something happening with this wall. This wall needs a little bit of pizzazz. So we're gonna go to perspective. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. We'll see if this works. I'm gonna go to this corner. We are going to make it 50 wide. Go all the way to this corner. How high is it gonna be? What does one meter look like? Perfect. Click enter. Okay, later that will be textured a different material to this backdrop. Like maybe the background's like a plaster or concrete, and this can be like a light oak wood or something. And here we have a cute little shelf. Oh, we can make it cuter though. We'll go up, let's say, how many millimeters? Let's go, let's go. 50. Nope. It's too much, too much millimeters. Let's go 20. Yeah, cute. And we'll push this out. Also 20. Is that too much? This little ledge. Oh, why did it do, why did it not do anything? Oh, cause it's connected underneath. That's not what I want. Whoops. I thought this was like a different object. Hmm. Obviously not. We gotta change that actually. We want it to be completely new. So we're gonna hold Alt and go like this. Now it is a new object. There we go. Now Control Shift. 20 and it creates a ledge. Would you look at that? Brilliant. We can also create some recess lighting in here. Now that would be cool. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's just go to the other side. Oh, crazy, crazy. This will. Oh my goodness. Hold control 
and right click and it'll go way better for you. Yeah, that works. And that works as well. Let's go, um, Boolean difference. So we're not going to delete the input to so make sure this says no. And then click enter. Cool, so now you can see there's a hole there. But we are going to keep this in because it's going to be a light material later. It's going to have illuminance. If that makes sense. It'll make sense later in the video. And yeah, okay. This is working out. Love it. Videos are posted weekly, so don't forget to subscribe for part 5 where we make the floor lamp. See you then.